Okay, so on this day of which I am sick and congested and I stayed home, didn't go to work, I'm going to make a YouTube video. Jessica tagged me in a video with a bunch of YouTube questions, so as I say these and answer these, I'm going to put things and balance them on my head. Here we go. How did you get your YouTube username? When I was really little, my brother and I were really into video games, and our favorite series that started back in 2001, I think, the Halo, Halo series with Master Chief and Sergeant Johnson and everyone, we really, really enjoyed that series. So Halo 3 GD comes from Halo 3, the third game in the series, and God as in somebody that really understands the story and really loves it. That's where it, that's where that came from. And I still have it. If you could change your real name to anything, what would it be? Matt Clive? Clocks are hard to balance on your head. Oh God. What advice would you give to your younger self? Uh, read a lot more. Get out of the house a lot more. Uh, just create stuff all the time. Uh, meet lots and lots of people because people are interesting. I could give a lot of advice to my younger... <laughs> Dang it. To simplify it, don't forget to be awesome. It'd be funny if I was actually recording with this thing, but I'm not. How old were you when you learned to blow a bubblegum bubble? I honestly have no idea because I'm actually not very much of a gum person. Sorry. Yeah, I see you fly on my window that you've been in my room for a long time. Put my uh, Xbox on top of this to prevent it from being on the carpet. What did you want to be when you were really little? Uh, one of my role models when I was little was Steve Irwin. I wanted to be like a person that traveled and did wilderness shows. I wanted to be a TV co-host for a fishing show, which is ultimately why I started recording. Uh, I wanted to be a scientist. Uh, I wanted to play the piano and be awesome at that. I think an astro astronaut at one point. Growing up is kind of giving up one of those one at a time. Maybe a writer too. Really, it's not really balancing anything, but it goes on my head. It's gonna be an epic one if I can manage it. Oh, this hurts. There's pegs on the bottom of this. Ow. Ow. What do you order at Starbucks? <laughs> I usually get a hot chocolate and a biscotti. Oh, that actually hurt. Ah, oh, amethyst, a little bit easier. What's the hardest you've ever laughed? When I was little, my dad used to play this game with me. He'd sit me down on the couch and then he would put his his uh, his uh hand over my face and he would slam me into the couch cushion. And we called it like the the face, face cushion event. Some game glitches are absolutely hilarious. Stuff that's happened playing video games with my brother, we like belly laugh all the time playing games. I was gonna say the the In Summer song from Frozen recently, that freaking song, when I watched the movie, that made me laugh really hard. I ate all the chocolates. They're gone, I got them on Christmas. If you could play any musical instrument, what would it be and why? You know that musical instrument they use to make all the scary movie sounds? That would be really cool. Uh, I'm really into the string and the, the wind instruments, right? Are they the wind? I don't even know what they are. See, I don't know enough about musical instruments. Probably like the violin or the, the bass. I don't know, there's certain songs that give me like the good feeling of goosebumps that I actually really, really enjoy the, the bass and the violin. Those kinds of instruments are the ones that give me the feels the most, I think. Pretty epic here. He's got the whole world in his hands. He oh. What's your favorite thing to do when- Ugh, oh, almost. What's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? My favorite thing to do when I'm upset is to just sit down and think. And to just see myself being upset. I can't believe I'm actually working. Oh, uh, journal. Vlog it. Talk up, talk to myself in my vlog and then watch it back later. Pretty good. Listen to music. Ugh, oh, size of a water bottle. It's gonna be exponentially difficult. I didn't even think about how hard this is gonna be. <sighs> What's your favorite movie? I don't know. At the moment, it could be Dinosaur, or Frozen, or Ghostbusters, or Monsters Incorporated, or something like that. Jurassic Park is up there. Uh, I, I made a whole video of the Disney tag. Go watch that. It's like a giant boomerang. What's one food you can't live without? Cheese. Goldfish. Pudding. Pudding is for horses. I'm not a horse. Chocolate? This counts as balancing something on my head. This thing's heavy. Bananas. That's enough of that. This is my Buddha board. Oh, my head actually hurts from that chair. What's your favorite dessert? Banana cream pie, apple pie, anything my mom bakes, chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, blueberry boy bait. I took the calculus in high school, so here's this. Here's a calc book. Favorite pizza topping? Um, it's between pepperoni and mushrooms. 
Here's my FCCLA binder. Would you rather have the ability to read- Oh, man. That wasn't safe. Probably gonna give me a worse headache than I've already had today. Would you rather have the ability to read minds or the ability to be invisible? It's gotta be hard to be invisible. Are your clothes invisible too? I think having the ability to read minds would be even cooler because then I could really know what people are thinking when they're talking to me so I can kind of pull out their thoughts and actually have a real conversation with them. As long as I can turn it on and off, there are a lot of factors that go into that, but I think the reading minds would be so much cooler than being invisible because it would actually build trust with people instead of them knowing that I'm always watching them. I guess that would be, I don't know, the, the thought of people being able to read your minds without their permission is kind of scary too. But reading minds, yeah. I was gonna say, if you watch really closely, you can see stuff disappear from the background. That's so much nicer to balance. What did you do for your last birthday? I can't even remember. Of last year? I think we just had a, family had a birthday cake and we sat and talked around and ate stuff. And then I probably played video games. I did catch a four pound largemouth bass the day before. So that was a pretty cool birthday present for last year. Yep, there's that. Uh, two left. If you had one personal selfish wish, what would it be? Yes, I'm sick. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can pull this off. Please. I feel it's coming. <coughs> nope. <sighs> I thought that was going to work, and it didn't. To live forever. In celebration, I have a miniature Snorlax. If you were any Pokemon, what Pokemon would you be? Well, there's already a Pokemon called Palkia, which I find amazing, which is my name with one letter difference. I think that can fly. Oh, I'd probably be a legendary Pokemon too. Lugia. And that's actually all the questions, so I hope you've enjoyed me balancing things in my head and my nasal speech. And it is Project 14 Day 16, so thank you for watching. Thank you for tagging me, Jessica. And I don't know who else to tag. I tag all of you who are watching. So if you've watched it, make a video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.